<clears throat> Shalom to the elect of Israel, to the hopefully elect of Israel. You Hebrew Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, West Indian, and Haitians. Gotta give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, the Heavenly Father, the Most High. His name is Yahweh, not Yahweh, not Jehovah, not God, not Ahia. It's Yahweh. His only begotten son name is Yahweh Shah, not Yahshua, not Yeshua, not Jesus Christos, not Jesus Christ, not Serapis Christus, not Yeshia. It's Yahweh Shah. So we got to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. Bahashim, Rikah Quraish, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well, who teach well, and a sincere salutation to all the oxen pushing this truth and believing this truth throughout the four winds of the earth, the entire world, waking up the whole for the elect. And shalom to the Akwaf who are listening and learning, the few sisters who are listening and learning. I'm Isaiah, coming into another lesson in true facts, faith, and edification, another daily edification. Lord's willing, it should be edifying. And this is tied up. The Lord is a just balance. And he bringing his judgment to light every day. The Lord is a just balance. Yes, Scott, that's what this is. A drastic, terrible loss. The home behind me, a family lost six members of their family. A mother, seven members. A mother and her six children. And now a community is left grieving friends, family, and classmates. Just after midnight Saturday morning, Clinton firefighters respond to reports of a fully involved fire at this home on Old Vicksburg Road. What we do know about this house is that it was built in 1951. And so it was an older structure. And we are uh, starting our initial investigation. Every unit in the city's fire department rushed to the scene where the fire was so intense, it also destroyed a car in the driveway. We'll uh, leave no stone unturned to find out why we have a tragic morning in Clinton. Lost in Saturday morning's blaze, 33-year-old Brittany Mitchell Presley and her children, 16-month-old Felicity Presley, 4-year-old Malcolm Mack Presley, 6-year-old Grayson Presley, 12-year-old Lawson Presley, 13-year-old Lane Presley, and 15-year-old Landon Brookshire. We are... You see that? 16 month old baby. Four year old, six year old, 12, 13, and 15. Isaiah 14 and 21. Prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. Learning that husband and father Jake Presley remains in the hospital, he's in critical but stable condition. Once he's capable of, of being talked to by our investigators and uh, we can get to him, they, they will talk to him and get his statements. We do know that, that he, was, um, he was worried and concerned. The community in Clinton and beyond realizing the shocking reality of the loss of this family. Brittany Presley was a second grade teacher at Reuben B. Myers Canton School of Arts and Sciences. Her son, a pre-K student there. The district says she was a nurturing and loving teacher who gave her all. Both will be sorely missed. Clinton Public Schools also releasing a statement saying they are grieving the loss of four students from the Presley family, calling it a devastating loss. There are also efforts to help financially. A GoFundMe set up by Jake's best friend, James Williams, will cover the cost of funerals and Jake's medical bills. If he wasn't at work, he was with them kids. Now, James lives in Alabama, and he tells me when he found out about this fire at this home, he instantly knew this house because he, because he tells me he's been here more times than he can remember. The information on the GoFundMe page is on our website at 16wapt.com. Now, I'm going to show you the just balance because this is 
<clears throat> a woman and her six kids, okay? And they was what? Idumians, right? Look at this. This is the balance of the Lord, man. Has killed a mother and her three children. It happened this morning on the southeast side of Grand Rapids. Family members have identified them as Juanita Scales and her sons, 15-year-old Xavier, 14-year-old Robert, and 10-year-old Elijah. 13 on your sides, Elena Holland joins us now with more. And Elena, the tragedy of this is just beyond words. Oh, Nick, it's absolutely heartbreaking. And it's quite clear that this family was very loved. I want to show you something. Right here outside the home, a memorial is growing. We've got teddy bears, flowers, things like that, just outside of their mailbox. But as of right now, this is what remains. The memorial, a house that is burned, and the memories of this loving family who died here this morning. A mother and three children were all killed in a fire while they slept. We spoke to that neighbor. And you see, they say died there that morning. Zephaniah. Chapter 3, verse 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning do he bring his judgment to light. He fell him not, but the unjust nor of no shame. This is balance of the Lord, man. He took out the Idumian family and he took out an Israelite family, man. This is just balance of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah friend who tried his best to prevent this outcome. Just tried to, I haven't really slept last night because I just felt like I, had, I didn't do enough. I felt like if I'd have gotten there sooner, I could help save them or at least get their attention. So it just. Proverbs 20 and 24 reads, it's a, he just got gotten there a little earlier. Proverbs 20 and 24 reads, Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? You can't try to go against something the Lord already has sanctioned. Demarcus Putman lives a few houses down and knew the family inside the home on fire. He said he saw the flames early this morning and did not hesitate to run inside and help. He kicked down the door and bolted up the stairs. When I went in, it was all smoke. It was all black smoke. The walls are black from all the smoke. Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. So you see, it say what? A time to be born, right? A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. So, what you see is the Lord bringing judgment, man. A time to be born and a time to die. And uh, the, the Edomite family had a 16-month-old child. Okay? Hey, the Lord bringeth judgment every day, man. This is uh, Job 4 and 7. Remember, I pray thee, whomever perish being innocent. Or where were the righteous cut off? Even as I have seen, they that plow iniquity and so wickedness reap the same. It's Ecclesiastes 3. In verse 16. And moreover, I saw under the sun the place of judgment that wickedness was there. And the place of righteousness that iniquity was there. And I said in my heart. Yahweh Yahweh Shah shall judge the righteous and the wicked. For there, well, on earth, is a time there for every purpose and for every work. This is, uh, let's play some more of this. Hardly breathe, hardly see. He shouted up the stairs, but saw no sign of his friends. I'm yelling upstairs as much as I can, you know, without too much smoke getting in me. And. They um, heard nothing. 
to have dogs. We heard no barking. We heard no fire alarms, no anything. He later learned the mother and her three children, ages 10, 14, and 15, all died from the fire. It's believed two dogs are also dead. Fire Chief John Lehman says when his crew arrived, they saw no sign of working smoke alarms, something he says could have saved this family. See, they ain't even had no, they ain't even had no smoke detectors in the house, man. Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Okay? Listen, man. What you see is, this is a just balance of the Lord, man. He took out the Edomite family and he took out the Israelite family, man. This is how the Lord worked. A false balance is a... A false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Proverbs 16 11. A just weight and balance are the Lord's. All the weights of the bag are his work. So, <clears throat> just reading to you how the Lord is balanced, man. Proverbs 20 and 10. Divers weights and divers measures, both of them are alike abomination to the Lord. So he balanced the scale, man. Okay. This is Proverbs 20 and 23. Say divers weight, divers weight are an abomination unto the Lord, and a false balance is not good. Okay? So the Lord balanced everything out, man. That was the whole point of me doing this lesson. This is balanced from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. This is Amos chapter 3. In verse 6, it reads, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai have not done it? Who did this? The Lord did it, man. The Lord did it. 1 Samuel 2 and 6 reads, Let's read verse 3. First Samuel 2 and 3. Talk no more so exceedingly proud. Let not arrogance come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a power of knowledge. And by him actions are weighed. Okay? By him actions are weighed. But I just read it. Proverbs 11 1, 16 and 11. Proverbs 20, 23. The Lord is a just balance, man. Okay? Verse 6, the Lord killeth and maketh alive. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. The Lord maketh poor and maketh rich. He bringeth low and lifteth up. Okay? Deuteronomy 32 and 39. And we're going to bring these out continually, man. Because the Lord is judging. He brings his judgment to light every morning. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive, I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Isaiah 45, verse 7, reads, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, do all these things, man. So what you're seeing is judgment of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. This is James 3 and 13. You think this Jake was teaching his kids the righteous ways of the Lord? I doubt it. James 3 and 13. Who is a wise man and a doer with knowledge amongst you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness and wisdom. You think this guy, and he was at work while his wife and three sons were killed in the fire. He was at work, man. They say he, his job is minutes down the street from their home. You think he's dwelling with wisdom? You think he's seeking the Lord? While the evil day come not? I doubt it. You see what this is? This is called a grievous death. Jeremiah 16 and 4, man. James 3 and 13. Who is a wise man and endureth with knowledge amongst you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of 
wisdom. You think this guy was doing that? I doubt it. <clears throat> this is Michael. Chapter 6 and 11. It reads. Shall I count them? Shall I count them pure with the wicked balances and with the bag of deceitful weights? Again, shall I count them pure with the wicked balances and with the bag of deceitful weights? You see this right here? This was, this was, hey, the Lord, well, in the lower eye, this was a righteous balance, man. He took out the Edomite family and he took out the Israelite family, man. This is the balance of the Lord. Shall I count them pure with, with the wicked balances <clears throat> and with the bag of deceitful weights? They was wicked, man. Okay, no matter how you look at it, cause what it's saying in Job 4 and 6 and 4 and 7, nobody died being innocent, man. Nobody. Okay. This is uh <clears throat> Ecclesiastes 8 in verse 8 there is no man that have power over the spirit to retain the spirit neither have he power in the day of death and there is no discharge in the war neither shall wickedness deliver those that are given to it this is um Ezekiel 18 in verse 3 it reads, As I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, you shall not have occasion any more to use this proverb in Israel. Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also the soul of the Son is mine. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. But if a man be just and do that which is lawful and right, hey, he'll live. Okay? This is Deuteronomy. 24 and 16. It reads, The father should not be put to death for the children, neither should the children be put to death for the fathers. Every man should be put to death for his own sin. And in the Edomite family, the father, he made it. He in the, he in the hospital with condition, right? But his, his, his wife and his six kids died. This father right here, or this Jake family, he lived. But his family gone, man. Okay? Hey, his kids are put to death for their own sins. This is um, Ezekiel 18 and 21. To link with that, uh, Deuteronomy 24 and 16. Ezekiel 18 and 21 reads, But if the wicked... Uh, let's read verse 20. Seek 18 and 20. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. The son shall not bear the iniquity of the father, neither shall the father bear the iniquity of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon him, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon him. But if the white, but if the wicked will turn from all his sin that he have not committed, and keep all my statutes, and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. So there it is, man. That's there it is. Hey, so I just um I, I seen um Adam not talk about the video on it yesterday. So I just want to go into it, man, <clears throat> and do my own little lesson. This is Proverbs twenty two and six. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. You think this guy was training his kids up in the truth? I doubt it, man. I highly doubt it. Okay? I doubt it. Hey, so Lord, when it's edifying, got to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rekha Quraysh, double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well, who teach well. In a sense, he'll say it takes to talk to pushing this truth and believing this truth throughout the four winds of the earth, the entire world waking up to hopefully let. And Shalom to that one for our listening and learning. A few sisters who are listening and learning. I'm like, uh, Lord Williams, edifying. And this is another piece I'm going to close with. This is Job 31 and 3. It's not destruction to the wicked. This is Job 31 and 3. It's not destruction to the wicked 
and a strange punishment to the workers of iniquity? Do if not he see my ways and count all my steps? If I had walked with vanity, or if my foot had haste to deceive, let me be weighed in an even balance that power may know my integrity. You see, hey, if we go off, hey, Job said, let me be weighed in an even balance that power may know my integrity. Hey, Amen. <clears throat> they don't walk, with, that's one with our people, man. They don't walk with no fear, man. Okay, there's no fear in two-thirds of Israel. Shalom.